What are you doing in there? Good morning, everyone. Everybody is just wrapping up, having breakfast, taking a little dip in the pool, and we are about to go out to the Science Museum. But before we do that, I wanted to show you around the house that we're, we're renting while we're here. So this is the front door. You'll notice the doorknob is slightly off center from the door, which is very cool. Don't see that very often. As you come through the door, you can either go this way towards the kitchen dining area or this way towards the main living area. Got some couches, lovely lion artwork, more artwork, a fireplace, more couches, and a beautiful view. Look at that, beautiful. That living area leads into this very long hallway. At the end of this hallway, we have the big bedroom that Jessica and I are using. Then as we go back, there's a bathroom. Kids room, kids room. This is Faith's room, baby's sleeping in there right now. This is a locked door. It's locked. We, we don't know what's behind it, but it's here. We have a lovely dining area where Luke is. Eat the sausage. You're gonna eat the sausage? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you like veggie sausage? You went in the pool this morning? Yeah. Was it fun? Fun. It was fun, huh? You gonna eat pizza? Yeah. Do we have pizza? No. Okay. No, pizza. The pizza's all done. So we wait that the rest of the day. It looks like there's some sausages. That's a good sausage. Mmm. Good sausage. Mhm. Mm and if we go in this way, there's like a little den area. Kind of fun. Another fireplace there. Big TV. Lots of books. And this also leads out into the outside area where there is a pool. A really cool old fashioned grilling zone over here. Yeah. It says do not use the grill. But it's neat to know that it's here. Beyond the pool we have this nice grassy area with a hammock. For lying down. And relaxing. Yes. And going to sleep. And going to sleep. Then they've got the cornhole game over here, some fun trucks to play with, more view. And then if we go back into the house, past the dining room, we've got the kitchen. It's a little messy right now, but we've got a nice little kitchen area, little breakfast nook, old fashioned ironing board that comes out of the wall there, and more view. View out these windows, view out those windows. It's a pretty cool 1950s style house. And, uh, and we're having a nice time here. It's, it's, it's been nice in the mornings to just kind of wake up and get ready and have some breakfast and feel nice and relaxed and protected by a lion. Food. You want yeah, some food? Yeah, I want some food too. Are you underneath a boat? Look at this boat that you're under. Whoa. We are eating lunch at a place called Brigantine. Oh yeah, fish you, and chips. You're gonna eat fish and chips? Uh -huh. Oh, that sounds good. With french fries. With french fries? Yeah. Oh boy. What did you order? A big bowl of clam chowder. Big bowl of clam chowder? Yes. Nice. Fish and chips. You ordered fish and chips? Yeah. Duncan, what'd you order today? We ordered fish and chips. Fish and chips? I ordered a taco. Taco? Fish tacos? Yes. So this place came recommended to us and it's not too far from where we're staying and I really wanted to have a, a, like a fun San Diego meal because this is a place that we haven't visited often so we wanted to go somewhere special at least once on this trip. I am getting the classic grilled fish tacos because I love fish tacos. On their website they said that was one of the dishes that they're known for so I really wanted to try one of their specialties. Ooh, this is a fun menu. Mm -hmm. So I made two. 
Uh, this one's a girl <laughs> and this one's a boy. Oh, they're so cute. They make the boat. There's a dip for it. You want to try the dip? It's make the boat. Oh, smell it. Smell the dip. Oh, do you know why you put these pink? Which thing's pink? These? Oh, the letters? Yeah. Yeah, Cause, why? Because um, I like pink. It's my first favorite color, and it's it's part of my day. D, U, M, C. That's pretty cool. Good thinking. I like that. You guys want to try the calamari? Yeah. Hey, you want to try calamari? Calamari. You gonna try it? All done? Okay. <laughs> Grilled fish tacos? Coleslaw. Haters, back off. It's a good cup. Is that hot? Hot. Thank you. Right. You need to blow on it? So we might still go to a science museum today, but we're starting off at a children's museum. This is the new children's museum of San Diego, and uh, it's pretty cool. Come check it out. You excited about this? Yes, I'm excited. You're excited? Yeah, I've never worked here, and I want to do it so bad, 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 bad. That's an elephant? So cool. Did you make it? Yeah. How's it going in there, Jacob? <laughs> Um, a pot, it's a puzzle, for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be on the other side. <laughs> There's a lot of poles everywhere. A lot of poles. Wow. How's this working out for you, Bailey? No! No? no. Good? Yeah, it's great. What was in there? Um, there's a projector. A projector? Yeah. We just got home, we ended up spending the rest of the day at the Children's Museum and we're in the powder room, I think this is considered. It's between the, the bedroom that Jessica and I are sharing and the bathroom that's attached to that. There's this room which has like lights. It's the best lighting in the house. So since it's dark outside, this is where we're doing this part of the video. And Parker's here. I wanted to know, Parker, what did you think of the museum? It was so fun. I went to a that down a slide. So there's like this canopy thing and you had to go through like holes to get up to the top and it was fun. 
and they, it had like balls hanging down from it and you'd sit on the ball and then swing. It, it was really fun. I think I was expecting something different about the kids museum. I was expecting like, I guess more like education and social things exhibit. Typically when we go to a children's museum there's a setup that's like a grocery store, a police department, or like a, a hospital and the kids get to play and experience those things and learn through those things. And this was much more art based, I feel like. They were kind of really tactile art exhibits is the best way I can describe it. But for me it took me a couple minutes to be like, oh, oh this is this other thing, it's not that. If you go there expecting that, Change your expectations before you go in. Jacob, what did you think of the kids museum? So I thought it was really cool. I love the idea where you can like go somewhere and then there's like a secret tunnel to another different place. And there's a lot of that. There's like a map to like where different areas are. But once you're in that area, there's no like map or around the exploring. area. You're just exploring. You're exploring the area. Yeah. As a parent, there were certain things that scared me. Cause like I didn't, I couldn't shimmy my way into certain areas, yeah. but you guys were able to. So I had to like be okay with you going into the ether and then hoping that you would return. Yeah, um, there was um, one area that was incredibly hard to go through. Was that the net thing? Yeah, the net yeah. thing. Oh it's my gosh, the net <laughs> thing. I think that was Parker's favorite. Bailey's here. Bailey, you want to help Hello. What are your takeaways from the Children's Museum? Today? I thought it was really fun. Uh, any favorite exhibits? Definitely the theater. Yeah, that theater was really cool. Yeah, the theater was awesome. That was definitely my favorite part because I, I feel like it would be a lot more fun if there were less kids there and I had like a one on one with like either Parker or Duncan because mm -hmm. they're like the perfect age. But it's really cool they have like this ticket booth you can work at they have a dressing room they have a whole bunch of costumes and a whole bunch of seats and it's kind of like it, it's like a what's that called like a traveling no yeah, like a traveling show a traveling thing. show traveling play yeah but like from like a long time ago where they had like those carts mm -hmm. so it was the kind stage of set up area like that. was beautiful it was like, beautiful it was such a pretty um Pretty set up. They had all these pinatas up above, and then like the scene was this like stepped cloud scene. It was really, really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. That was definitely my favorite part. They also had a shadow theater. Mm hmm. Um, a lot of people walk past that, but I saw you go in there and do, do some shadow puppets. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was fun. I feel like it would be the most fun if I was in there with just like me, Duncan, and Parker, or like just our family because I don't know I feel like it would be really fun like role-playing yeah I feel like at other museums there's like this understanding that you're you're play acting and, and pretending and you end up playing with strangers like kids that you've never met before and it works out but it was so hectic in that <laughs> in that room like people were crossing across the stage like constantly there was no yeah no way I to just, really I make a connection with somebody I wish to there like were create less a play people. I wish there were less people Very busy. There. Yeah, it was very busy today. That That's the thing. Like, that's... Like, if there were less people, I feel like we could have had a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys could have put on a full-on play. Yeah, we could have. But it felt like very rapid pace. Like, you had to get oh in my gosh, out because there was watching it, so many other people There were like There was like a stage. random kid in a costume running across the stage. Right. Just the whole time. It was just kids doing this. <laughs> but it's it's kind of a really cool setup. They even have... <laughs> Attached to the dressing room, there's like a slide that slides into this room with a disco ball. One thing that I thought was really cool, besides the theater, was I really enjoyed the the giant area with all the like tunnels and the... Mm -hmm. You know that area? Yeah. There was one place that was so difficult to find through this maze of things. Where it's like you go through a little tiny hole, and then there's like this little narrow passageway. Then there's another little tiny hole through that passageway. And then you have to look around for a minute, but there's a little tiny hole with a curtain on it. Push the curtain aside and inside it's this giant room with like spoons all over the roof. Hmm. Yeah. It was, That's it, cool. It was interesting. Duncan, did you want to say some stuff? Yeah. So Duncan, tell me about what you did today at the Children's Museum. Oh, the same thing. Where do you go into the dark? Mm -hmm. And then you see the all these spoons with... You like the spoons? Yeah, it's so good. 
Did you have a good day today? Yeah. Are we gonna have another good day tomorrow? Uh, going home. We're going home, but before that, I think we're gonna go to a museum. <gasps> science museum? Hopefully, you love science. I love science. I think it is just about bedtime right now, so. Okay. You ready for bed? Yeah. You want a bedtime story? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that Luke is planning on eating pizza, even though he knows there's none in the house. We learned to watch out for the net exhibit at the museum, because once you're in there, it's hard to get out. And finally, we learned the importance of slowing down and taking in the scenes around you, even when you're going down a slide. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs>